Okay, so this is 11.1, and we're going to use a real-world problem um, to find um, the maximum height. Um, so let's take a look at um, the book, which is here. It says a baseball is hit into the air, and its height is h in feet after t seconds. can be calculated by this equation. They want to know the height of the baseball when it is hit, and then determine the maximum height of the baseball. So let's do that on our scratch pad. So just so that I get things correct, I'm going to make an important list. So here's my important list. Okay, so important list. They told me what H was. H is going to be... Um, the height, so it's height in feet, and then they told me what T was. T is the number of seconds, okay, that it's hit. They also gave me the equation H of T equals negative 16T squared plus 96T plus 3. And then they asked for two questions. First question was, what's the height? What's the height um, uh, when the ball is hit? Okay, that's the first question. That's my first question here. And then the second question is, what's the ma determined maximum height? Which is really my vertex point. So let's do the first one. What's the height when the ball is hit? So just as it's hit, um, t is 0 seconds. So that means I put that in for the equation. So h of 0 is negative 16 times 0 squared plus 96 times 0 plus 3. And so 0 squared is 0 multiplied by negative 16 is 0. 96 times 0 is 0 and then plus 3. So h of 0 is 3. So this is 3 feet in 0 seconds. And so here's the first answer. Now we do B. Determine the maximum height. We have to find vertex point. So that's going to be x equal to negative B over 2A. We know A is negative 16 and B is 96. So, we'll put that in, negative 96 divided by 2 times negative 16. So now we'll go ahead and do that on our calculator. So go here, clear, and we go to negative 96 divided by, and I'm going to do the multiplying first underneath the denominator, so that's 2 times negative 16. Hit enter. I get 3 seconds. So I know this is 3 seconds. Okay. So that tells me what my x is, right? So x is 3 seconds. Now I need to find the y, or in this case it's the h. So h of 3 seconds, and I put it back into the original, it's negative 16 times 3 squared plus 96 times 3 plus 3. So go to my calculator. Okay, I know that 3 squared is 9, so I'm going to go negative 16. Um, times 9, so I get 144 
So it's negative, negative 144 plus, right? And I'm going to do 96 times 3, which is 288. So 288 plus 3. And so now I'm going to add them all up. So negative 144 plus 288 plus 3, I get 147 feet. So 147 feet in 3 seconds. And so I've determined the maximum height, which is the vertex point. So my vertex point could be 3 seconds, comma, 147 feet. And so here's the vertex. This is the highest the ball gets. And, and after 3 seconds, the ball starts to come down. And this is just another real-world problem. I tend to like this one a lot, so you want to make sure that this makes sense to you and ask questions if you're not. Thank you.